There is a faith in loving fiercely. The one who is rightfully yours. Especially if you have waited years, and especially if a part of you never believed you could deserve this loved and beckoning hand, hold out to you this way. I'm thinking of faith now, and the testaments of loneliness. And what we feel we are worthy of in this world. Years ago in the Hebrides, I remember an old man who walked every morning on the grey stones to the shore of baying sails, who would press his head to his chest in the blustering south wind and say his prayer to the turbulent Jesus hidden in the water. And I think of the story of the storm, and everyone waking and seeing the distant yet familiar figure far across the water. Calling to them, and how we are all prepared for that abrupt waking and that calling and that moment. We have to say yes, except it will not come so grandly, so biblically, and most subtly and intimately in the face. Of the one you know, you have to love. So that when we finally step out of the boat towards them, we find everything holds us, and everything confirms our courage. And if you wanted to drown, you could, but you don't. Because finally, after all this struggle and all these years, you simply don't want to anymore. You have simply had enough of drowning, and you want to live, and you want to love, and you will walk across any territory and any darkness, however fluid and however dangerous, to take the one hand you know. Belongs in yours.